I'm going to top this group up with First Solar, who, imagine this, they took 26 systems of our competitors, SAP, Workday, Salesforce, and they went ahead and rolled it all into Oracle Fusion applications. But what I want you to hear is why and how and what's been possible because of that. So, for solar, next. First Solar is a solar technology company with a mission to advance the fight against climate change. From sourcing to manufacturing to module recycling, First Solar's technology embodies sustainability and responsibility towards people and the planet. With products that are solar designed, built and delivered responsibly. Welcome into the stage, Aaron Bly. CIO of First Solar. I love this. Just say, hey, Aaron, wait till you hear about these guys. So, all right. First of all, you're going to need to set the stage because First Solar is not like all the others. There's a lot of things that are different. So, talk a little bit about the industry, what happened, what's been going on and how you're different, so that folks really understand how special this is. Yeah, so first off, thanks for having us. This is great. It's great to see everybody out here. Um, yeah, solar has uh, been on a unique journey, right? 20 years ago, it was all about, you know, who wanted to be feel, feel green, right, and really take advantage of it. Well, now it's different, right? Solar is now the lowest cost energy option pretty much everywhere in the world. So uh, great time to be in the industry for sure. Um, our business model is based on differentiation, right? And I'll give you a couple examples of what makes First Solar uh, unique in this space. First is our technology, right? Most of the industry is based on silicon. Uh, we actually use a semiconductor um, that really over the life of a, of a solar panel, you get more energy, right? So that's an advantage we have. Uh, the second thing is our manufacturing process. So that whole industry is pretty much based on batch processing. Um, ours is seamless. So under one roof, you put a piece of glass in, about four and a half hours later, you have a solar panel ready to ship to our customers. The third thing is our supply chain, right? Wherever we are building factories, we're building them close to where the demand's at, and we are um, leveraging domestic supply chain. So that only not only gets us um, more supply close to our plants, but it also adds several thousands local jobs, uh, which is pretty awesome, right? And the fourth thing is we, we have a, um, a history of basing our company on sustainability, and we, we call it responsible solar, right? So uh, we have the lowest carbon footprint, um, lowest in pretty much every other metric, um, but we really take that to heart, right? It doesn't make a sense to produce a solar panel that takes you know, years to offset the energy it took to produce. Um, in our case, it's two months payback. So that's pretty cool. And then one other thing I'd just like to highlight is uh, cadmium tellurides are made in secret sauce type uh, concept. I guess it's not secret anymore. <laughs> I just kind of no. let it out of the bag. Um, <laughs> but uh, with that semiconductor, we can, we can actually recycle our solar panel, right? And we've been doing this for years, but you can recycle about 90% of that panel and reuse it. And that cadmium telluride can actually be used 41 times. So you, you're actually getting energy out of that one element for over a thousand years. I mean, these are just incredible. And it's, it's so important because you meet your, your mission goals, but also are able to run a business. I mean, four or five years ago, the company really was at a serious inflection. And you really had to, to make changes and decide how you were going to run this business. I mean, maybe you could share with, with the folks out here, because so many of them are going through industry changing issues, and uh, they've got to make some, some bold moves. Yeah. Um, actually, it started back in 2017. Uh, we had a smaller footprint as a, of our solar panel and uh, the, the rest of the industry was really getting to bigger panels. 
Um, and so we, we, make the, we took the plunge and we basically shut down all of our plants, ripped out all the equipment, put brand new equipment in, and now we have a really big solar panel that's uh, unique in the industry as well. Um, and so that, was, that took a lot of courage. Um, and, and so part of that is we also looked at what are we really good at, right? We're good at technology, we're good at manufacturing. Uh, we were in other business units that over the course of the life of uh, the solar industry, uh, we were in development, we were in construction, we were in operation maintenance. Uh, now there's a lot more companies that do that. That's not really a differentiator, so we got out of those businesses. And so what that meant on the back end, right, we had brand new plants, um, we had to divest the businesses off of, and we were left with a lot of uh, technology debt. Um, and so we looked around and said, you know, what should we do? Let's consolidate our systems, and, uh, and that's where we're at here. Well, you know, it's interesting. So again, courage, uh, change, mindset, just willing to change, pretty much change everything and figure out what's differentiating about you and how to move forward. And you've got to share with the audience how you, with all the pieces, how you actually decided to consolidate it and what you were looking for in a partner. Because you know, some of the things you were using, pretty famous, you know, and it takes quite a lot to go, nah, I'm going to go do this. So you got to tell these guys. Yeah, so part of the journey was as we were in these different business units, right, we, uh, of course, as those businesses come, came up really quickly, you know, we were going out and buying the flashiest uh, thing out there, right, following the candy. And, uh, and so part of this was when we got to the point where uh, we, we needed to consolidate, right? We had to do that on the back back end of the business. Um, and so, but what we want to do is, right, we want to focus our, our, really, our energies on what we do best, right? That's manufacturing, that's technology. We didn't want to try to make, spend the money and our time trying to be the best at all these other business processes, right? And so we went through our, our last part of our transformation was called MVP, Minimal Viable Process. And so we first wanted to find a platform that pretty much could cover all of our end-to-end -end processes. So Oracle checked the box on that. You know, the next thing was we really wanted to, um, I wanted to get the stuff out of the data center, right? And, and have somebody that's doing it all the time deal with it. Um, and so we wanted to go to the cloud. Um, and so that, that was the second part. Um, but, you know, so with all that, you know, we wanted also, it was very important for me and the company to have a partner that would, that we could trust, right? And so, I mean, I'm, not just saying this because I'm talking to you, uh, but Oracle listened, yeah. right? They helped, they advised. Um, and so along that way, it was very valuable. It, um, we were part of the Lighthouse program. Mm -hmm. uh, that program was a big reason why we got to, to, to the point we're at now. And I happen to say on the ERP side, we actually went live uh, 48 days ago. <laughs> and it's fantastic. I mean, again, these kinds, you. You have so much going on in your industry. How much time do you want to spend on your accounting? You know, right. I mean, these aren't why people pick your products. And it's, you want to do all of that. I love that. MVP, I call that often vanilla. Some of you have heard me talk. Let's keep it simple. Let's do that part. Let's do it quickly. It's one of the reasons we get to announce earnings anywhere from eight to sometimes 11 days after the quarter's closed, if there's a weekend, um, because we keep it simple, even in a huge global operation like ours. So, you know, I love to see it when companies like yours really follow and, and sort of partner with us. I'd like to dig in on HR for a minute, because that's an area where um, there's a lot of people talking, because we're we all care so much about our employees and our mission and, and keeping them, retaining them, and training them, all, all, all the whole experience. Maybe you could share a little bit about that. Sure, so we actually went live with uh, HCM uh, almost two years ago. Um, and you know, I've been really impressed with the platform uh, from everything from hire to retire. We actually have safety in there too. We do a, a tremendous amount of things with safety and I'm really pleased with that. Um, but the thing that, that we got the most value out of it as an associate or as a manager, um, everything's pretty much, you know, I'm the center of attention in HCM, 
right? It's all based on what me as an individual needs to do or me as a manager needs to do with my staff. Um, and so it really allows me to see everything. Um, it, it's just really simple, right? And I don't have to go to a training class. Uh, it's pretty intuitive. Um, and so that's been a very uh, powerful um, platform for us. And we're really, um, I was in the HCM cab yesterday and some of the things we're doing, we're a little further ahead than a lot of companies and the platform really allows us to do that. And so just can't say enough about that. Oh, that is so nice to hear. Of course, we use it ourselves. So I'm able to do approvals on my phone. Uh, mm -hmm. So no, it's, I'm not just watching, you know, some video. I'm actually approving your HR rec. So that's my story, and I'm sticking with it. But uh, I will say that you don't actually think you're going to get out of this stage without talking a little bit about AI. Yeah. Because this whole area and this whole area you are focused on, I mean, artificial intelligence truly changed the industry. And folks came to Cloud World to learn about that. And maybe you could share a little bit about how it's going to change for you. Yeah, sure. So uh, we honestly believe that we have some of the most leanest uh, competitive manufacturing processes in the world. Um, and so we are on, on, always looking at cutting edge. Um, and AI is cutting edge. We've been using it in our manufacturing processes for the last couple years. Uh, first, just starting to get testing it and see what it would do. Uh, and we've gotten some fantastic results. Um, I'm actually really looking forward to this week learning how Oracle's going to roll at AI through all the platforms and how I get to take advantage of it. Yeah, we are so thrilled. This is, it's, uh, I've got to tell you, we have waited for this moment where the data and the compute and the GPUs and all the technology come together. And I would say, as I, as I said at the beginning, is probably the single most exciting period in technology in decades. Yep. And uh, it's going to be an exciting, exciting time. And partnering with you all is just a pleasure. So thank you. Thank yep. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Yep. Hey, did you like what you learned? Make sure to check out this video or this link, and of course, subscribe now.